Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a challenge, a secret challenge called Let Me Talk About a Single Photo for As Long As I Can. That's the official name of the challenge. Um, and the photo that I'm using for this challenge, well, I, let me explain why I'm doing the challenge. Basically, I want to just see what I can get out of a single photo. Uh, it's sort of the limits of like what I can think about concerning one photo um, and what I can express about a single photo. Like obviously there's a lot I can think about, but can I express it with words? I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to talk about a photo for as long as possible. And hopefully that you can, I'm hoping that you can join me with that. Um, it's going to be a rambling video. I'm just going to be talking. So good luck uh, to me mostly. Uh, the photo that I've chosen to use to talk about today is this one here. Um, this is a photo of what looks to be a shirt and a pants. It's like a suit combo. It's a green one. It's got a blue tag, which is cool. And got all this crazy stuff in the background. Obviously, I'm holding it. Um, I'm going to start by telling you how this photo came to be. I was in a place called Retro Metro. Uh, just going for a little bit of a shop as you do and notice this crazy combo it kind of looks like a um, like you could imagine someone with like a felt brown hat wearing this kind of combo maybe they're in the jungle but like they're not in danger because they're probably like a white guy so yeah I don't know anyway it looks like this and Anyway, they're not in danger or anything, but they're just walking along, doing some business, getting some done. There's a safari, it's a safari outfit. That's what it is, okay. Um, you could imagine maybe the guys at the Pokemon safari shop would have this on. Uh, so for me, I took it because I wanted to show it to my brother. I feel like this is an outfit that he would really love um, because it's kind of funny uh, and it's also like really stylish as well. So it's it hits that like you can laugh about it but also and people can laugh at you for wearing it but like you're gonna look good you're gonna look good wearing this kind of thing um, it's a classic piece of outfit so I took a photo of it and I sent it to my brother um, and that's how the photo came to be uh, it's like it's nothing I wasn't thinking about like oh you know I gotta like hold up this crazy thing and like put it against this background and do all this stuff it was just a oh cool bang boom and I just took the photo like that it was really quick um, and I think that you can really tell that in the photo. Um, but why I like it is for its aesthetic. Like initially why I liked it was because aesthetically it's like kind of amazing to me. Um, it's really, really flat feeling. It doesn't feel like there's any, really any depth at all. Everything feels like it's on the same level, on the same plane. And that's something that iPhones do well a lot of the time. Obviously I took this with my phone, but um, in this case, it just it's like on another level. I think it's it's partly due to this crazy texture in the back of the photo where I don't know there's a bunch of ties or it looks like ties, but I guess it's it's actually shirts, uh, different shirts, different types of shirts, which is cool. Um, it has this tag with some writing on there. I don't know what that says. Maybe I should read that. I don't know. Um, and color wise it's got the colors that I like I love green and I love blue and I love green and blue together um, but if you put that to if you put that with some of the colors like it's got a lot of purple back there um, I feel like it goes nicely together it just gives it a little bit more like it's interesting to look at you know uh, the subject is pretty obvious in the photo it's just this shirt um, and it takes on sort of a human quality uh, like for some reason this shirt and pants they have a personality that extends past just like a pair of shirts well it's a shirt one shirt and a pair of pants uh i don't know why but maybe it's just because I, i've seen people wear this kind of thing and i know what kind of person will wear it and it's just reminding me of a bunch of people um obviously it reminds me of my brother but it also reminds me a lot of my granddad and that's why i say that this is sort of a photo of my granddad um, and it's sort of a photo, it's a, 
it's one that every time I look at it, I go, oh, it's granddad. You know, it's like, he doesn't, oh, I guess he does. He does wear clothes like this, um, which is probably why. But it's, I don't know, it's, it's nice to me that I can make a photo. It's sort of like a portrait of, of my granddad, but he's not in it. And he didn't have anything to do with the creation of the photo. Like it was about me and my brother, but it comes back to my granddad. And I, every time I think of this photo, I, th I do think of my granddad, which is nice. Um, I like that about the photo a lot. So next I wanted to talk about maybe just a photo that it reminds me of uh, and why it reminds me of that. So if you look here, there's this photo. Um, oh, I wish I knew this person's name. Let's find out. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I guess we're not going to be able to find out their name, but Ugly Dog Books on Instagram is their name. Uh, and this is this beautiful photo uh, that when I saw it, I was like, holy sh shit, that is crazy. What a cool photo. Uh, and I think to me, it gives me this feeling of motherly love. You know, this is, to me, it looks like a mother and her son or daughter um, just sort of being like, hey, you know, like, get out there and do your thing, but I'm here as well. I'm here, I'm thinking about you, I'm taking care of you, but also you gotta do your own thing, you gotta do some crazy shit. Like he's doing like, I don't know, something with his hair, he's doing a head move. Um, I like it. I like the way that makes me feel, and this sort of makes me feel a little bit similar. And it feels sort of like I'm holding my granddad, I'm, I respect him, I'm, I'm showing that sort of love that I feel for my granddad in this photo, even though he's not in it. Uh, that's interesting to me. Um, next, I wanted to sort of, I'm gonna move over here and we're gonna have a look at what the photo looks like printed um, because I've been doing a lot of photo printing just on Xerox, like printers, but I've been cutting them out and that feels good. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So here we are. Here's the photo in printed form. I can hold it up. Looks pretty good. Well, that didn't focus, but looks good. Um, what I've been doing is cutting out photos and putting a black and like with a black background and then cutting them out so that the black border sits around them and it sort of frames the photo in a way that I think is really respectful to the photo um, and it makes things feel it's just so nice to be able to hold a little a little tiny like photo it's just a photo there's nothing else um, I like it a lot it's, it's nice to be able to give photos anyway I'm <laughs> off on a tangent but here we go Let's talk about the photo, how it feels printed. It feels pretty much the same, but one-to-one, -one, if I look back and forth, I can see that these, this texture in the background kind of, when it's on a screen, it's kind of digital and it's sharp and it's, and it's hard, but when it's printed out like this, it sort of melds together and it seems kind of a little bit softer and a little bit more uh, blended with each other, all those colors in the background. Um, what I've been doing with this photo specifically, I gave this to Myla, my girlfriend, and she put it on her bedside table. So every day now, I see it on her bedside table, which is such a crazy, beautiful thing to me. I think I've been thinking a lot about, you know, how a photo takes on so much more meaning when you give it to someone else or when you make it with someone else or you talk about it with someone else. And I think this is a great example of that. To me, it was initially a photo that was built between two people you know it's like something that i sent to my brother and it has that life to it, it has that energy in it and now you know a year two years later i've given it to my girlfriend and now it has this other meaning it has this other memories attached to it that i'm sure will only grow over time and um and it's nice to sort of impart it's not, it's nice to give something like a photo to somebody that then they can sit on it sit with it and feel it and think about it um even subconsciously, I think it's it's nice to be able to just share something like a photo with someone. Uh, this one specifically, like holding it feels crazy because I'm holding it and also in the photo I'm holding something. So it's like I'm seeing myself hold, hold myself hold, wait, I'm seeing myself hold myself holding something. Uh, so, I don't know, that's, I like things like, like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Can't really, uh, how do I get my whole hand? Like, if I go like that, it's 
pretty weird, right? Pretty cool. Um, yeah, anyway. Lovely photo. What else could I say about it? Um, I mean, there's the things where, like, I feel like it. another reason it feels really flat is because there's these leading lines through there. Uh, there's like a ladder or something, I don't know, and then there's a, some shoes, a shoe rack that are just leading you towards this thing. The angle of it is kind of like, it's straight down, but maybe it's pointed a little bit towards you. And that lighting is just like, it's harsh over the top lighting, which, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't curve the item. It doesn't give it like a 3D depth, but it does, it does bring out sort of something. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, but maybe one day I will. Um, yeah. Overall, yeah, one of my favorite photos that I have. I don't think I recorded my screen that whole time. Hold on. Oh, I did. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for watching that video. Hopefully I can make more like that. Maybe not this video again. Like I probably won't talk about one photo for 10 minutes ever again. Uh, I'll think about it and do it myself, but maybe I won't show you. Uh, but I'm going to try and make some more videos that are easy to make like this just to sort of sort of as an exercise in photography and thinking about photos. Uh, hopefully that's something that people that watch my videos enjoy, but if not, that's fine. That's for me. Um, have a good day. See you later.